Welcome back. In our last demo, I showed you how we built a query and created a very, very simple dashboard. Now we're going to create a new dashboard using our existing dashboard as the template, but we're going to make it a little bit more complex. Not necessarily complex, but we're going to make it different. So how do I do that? Again, I've got a couple of choices. I can go up here to tools and I can go into my dashboard designer, or I can start from this dashboard. I can click on my little settings icon, go and choose settings, select the dashboard I want. In this case, it's customer info and say manage dashboard. That brings me to the dashboard manager. I go across here to pervasive dashboards and you'll see there is the dashboard I already built, customer info. What do I do now? I simply choose edit and it brings up the existing dashboard that I've got. The query's not changing, none of that other information's changing. All I wanna do right now is my previous dashboard showed me account balance by customer. Now I want a dashboard which is gonna show me which of my sales reps are responsible for the customers with the largest amount of debt. So all I do is I simply remove the business partner name dimension and I replace it with the sales employee name dimension. And now what am I looking at? I'm looking at customer account balances by sales employee. So I can now simply go here and say save as customer info by sales rep. So very, very quick, two or three clicks, I've now got a different dashboard that I can use. I can now say finish or without going out, I can go back to design dashboard and now I can build another dashboard that's a little bit more complex or shows the information a little bit differently. For example, I might now want to combine those two. I want to see the account balance by customer and sales rep. Okay, so which sales reps are responsible for the customers and what are the account balances? So all I do, I simply take my additional dimension now of business partner name, drag that across here into my target dimensions. And what am I now seeing? I'm now seeing this salesperson, these are their two customers. This salesperson, here is his customer or her customer and so on. Then if I wanna reverse that around, it's a simple matter of just dragging sales employee underneath business partner name. And now you'll see the information is split up separately. All right, now I can now take that, swap that back. That's the way I wanna look at it. Or I can even now start adjusting this even further. Let's say I now wanna start looking at this as a pie chart. I go up here to the chart name and I say, show me this information as a pie chart. Now pie charts usually only are based on one measure and one dimension. So it's really not much point in showing both of these dimensions. So if I wanted to see this right now, you'll see only factoring it in on the basis of the sales rep. Now, if I go here and I get rid of the business partner name, that narrows it down a little bit, makes it easier to read. And now I've only got one value per salesperson. So there you have it. It's now showing me the same information as a pie chart. I can then also go in here and change the, to a different chart so I can look at a multiple bar chart. So again, the same scenario here, I'm able to start looking at different values. So for example, in a multiple bar chart, I might wanna compare the account balance together with the open orders balance so I simply drag that across and it's now showing me those two values side by side. Okay, I'm seeing the account balance and then I'm seeing the open orders balance. So the idea here behind these dashboards is it makes it incredibly quick and easy for you to build all kinds of different versions of these dashboards, starting from a simple query and then building from there. And you can have that data being as simple or as complex as you want. You can have that data pulling in from one table, two tables, multiple tables, 
or in our next demo, I'm going to show you how you can build that dashboard and we're going to use the semantic layer. Before I do that though, let's just finish off here. I'm going to now save this dashboard. So I'll save this as, and I'll call it a detailed customer info by sales rep. And I'll say, okay, that's now done. I'll say finish. And I'll say OK. And now what I can do is I can now drag another dashboard widget across here. I'll click on settings. And now I'm going to select my detailed customer info by sales rep dashboard. Say OK. The system automatically drops that in. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. And again, you can play around with these. Um, to suit yourself when it comes to the layout. But me, I like to make sure sort of things look relatively balanced. So I'm gonna go across here and I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller. So now those two are roughly the same size. And then if I shrink down my menu, again, you can see they will pull across. So you can start building a complete, if you like, control panel that shows you all the key performance indicators that you're interested in seeing. And again, remember, I'm able to group these into different cockpits. This one right now, I've just called a dashboard cockpit.